Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Straight Talk Whiskey. Nick here with you as always. Thanks for joining us for episode number 99, almost there to 100. And this week we've taken a little bit of a break from the Jim Beam mini-series that we had going on for a little while to turn ourselves to the second installment that I've been able to get my hands on of the Jameson Castmates. So this is the IPA edition, not to be confused with an India Pal Ale, but instead, as you might imagine, being an Irish whiskey, an Irish Pal Ale. So the first one that we had done, and there's a review on it, is the Jameson Castmates Stout Edition, which interestingly enough, if you watched that video, you would have heard the story already, but just a quick recap. So I was in Ireland a few years ago, walking around Cork, seeing some of the, you know, major tourist attractions, that sort of thing. Got a little bit hungry, was walking around, remembered that I had passed a pizza place on the way, and realized, oh, they've got a brewery attached to that. So that was actually Franciscan Well, where the original conversation started up between their head brewer and then the master distiller, uh, Brian Nation at Middleton. So that discussion decided to, uh, resulted in barrels being sent to Franciscan Well, where they aged their stout beer in there to season the casks that were shipped in from Jameson, and then conversely they were shipped back. So there was also a beer that Franciscan Well had made that was beautiful, and I ended up drinking um, the whole bottle that I had gotten while I was there in Ireland, couldn't bring that back. But that was using stout that had been aged in those Jameson seasoned barrels. And so here you had the flip side with the Castmate Stout Edition, and that was several years back. So they've done some independent work with some other places around the world. And now the widely available, newest edition rather, is the IPA edition. So it took some investigative work, but I have found out that those the IP, the source of the IPA is still from Franciscan Well. I wasn't sure the marketing wasn't entirely transparent whether it came from another craft brewery or not. So that took a little bit of work, but it does indeed come from Franciscan Well. Which beer they season those casks with, I'm not sure, but they do have the Chieftain IPA, so I'm guessing that's what they use but I haven't been there and I don't know anybody who can confirm or deny that, but that's my best guess. So let's go in and see what we got. So uh, first and foremost, before we get into that, bottled at 40% ABV, so 80 proof, finished to craft beer barrels, so it doesn't go too in depth about all of that. Just gives you some notes as is typical with these bottles. And then on the back, like the Stout Edition, you get a little bit of the story behind that. You can also go on their website and find out more about that. So, in the color we have that traditional honey, honeycomb, lemony gold color that is traditional with a lot of uh, blended Irish whiskeys. And so, for the nose, Right off the bat, you're getting that note that's very typical with IPA beers, and that's that hoppy note, the floral, citrusy note, but the hops are just jumping right off out of the glass there. It's very youthful, very, it's got a great energetic citrusy note. Makes me wish summer was coming a little bit faster, and that's what I'm getting on the nose. really dominant in that hoppy note. I would say if you were to take out the uh, the certain the descriptors that are in the whiskey that would accompany about 75% of what people would smell initially when they go in for the nose. So let's go in for the taste. The beautiful thing with this marriage of both the IPA world and the Jameson blended Irish whiskey world is that neither in the last edition 
with the stout season cast and the IPA season cast, do you ever get the the beer, the notes from the beer overpowering the whiskey? It's just a beautiful blend that's, I mean, so expertly crafted. What you get here is a mixture between both. So you get the traditional Jameson with the, the sweet, honey, lemony, grassy notes and a little bit of that malted barley note in there, fresh cut grass, you can get off the nose. But pairing that with definitely the, the flavor of a hoppy beer that you would get in there, lime, lemon zest, the citrusy notes are coming through beautifully, but it's paired so fantastically. It feels like you, you've got a three course meal that is just absolutely spot on. And the great thing about it is that you get a hint of that IPA season cast right off the get-go. So right as it enters your tongue, you're getting that really uh, ripe fruits, that zesty note, the lime, the IPA. It's all fresh and fragrant right out on the tip of the tongue, right? And it's good to let a little bit of air through your nose in when you're tasting that because that, you know, the, the smells that you get adds into uh, the tasting experience. And then it gives way to the malted barley, a little bit sugary in a sense that it's got a, some pastry notes to it, accompanying that, that lemon and, and honey and a little bit of vanilla in there. Just absolutely phenomenal. In terms of mouthfeel, very similar to the traditional Jameson original in that it's crisp, it's clean, you don't get a strong alcohol bite or overly uh, peppery note that you may get with some other whiskeys, right? That's the traditional, as Jameson loves to market it, the smooth paste that they have, and that word gets uh, battered around a lot, but in, in this case, in terms of mouthfeel, that's exactly what you get. And the finish just like the mouthfeel is crisp, it's clean, it's quick. So if you're expecting a really long finish of hoppy notes and, and citrus notes, it's not gonna stay around too long. It's crisp, it's clean, it's a great entering the, the spring and soon to follow after the summertime season. You know, in there, just phenomenal. And I sense I almost like it better than the stout season barrels because the IPA, having had stouts before and that sort of thing, I don't think I've ever really had an Irish pale ale. I've, I know Guinness has done a little bit of a explorer's pack and they've done some different things. They may have had an Irish pale out there. I know I've had a rye pale ale, which is similar to this, but it's not slightly different, it's a little spicier, it's got a little bit of more of that peppery note, at least in my taste, than this does. But it's this, the fact that with the stout season cast, you're getting a lot of those milk chocolates, really a nuttiness to it, and a lot of those pair really well with some other expressions that Jameson has, specifically the, the older ones that it has. So it's something similar that I've picked apart from you know, their portfolio before, but with the IPA season cast, you're getting something that's really new. If people want to put Irish whiskey into a category of being, you know, really clean, crisp, the, you know, the triple pot still distillation, refined, really sweet notes, almost put in, into a, a dessert bin of whiskeys, if you will, as opposed to like a really heavy uh, bourbon or something like that. So just to be able to add a little bit of nuance to that category and give it a little bit of zest and, and flavor is something that I haven't really had before in an Irish whiskey is fantastic. And also if you're one of those people like me who likes to experiment with the smaller size barrels um, and finish that with different things 
an IPA would be a great way to go to season your cask before you put in some, you know, higher proof on each spirit. So that's a route that you could go instead of finishing it with a wine or something of that um, accord. So anyway, let's give it one last taste here. Not much to say other than it's excellent if you can find it. It's just recently hitting the shelves from what I can see. Um, some other places may have it, but I saw this out of the corner of my eye and knew I had to get it. I was a little bit too dumb to buy two, and I, I guess I should have, but I'll have to see how it's selling on the shelves and go back and hopefully get one before they're all gone. But anyway, for a score, we're going to go with a 94 out of 100, because I know a lot of you folks at home like scores. For whatever reason, it just helps you to uh, sort of see where you are in comparison if you've had this comment and let me know what you think. And if you're going to drink, as always, drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time for episode number 100.